Ah, uh, hello teacher. Uh, sa video po na ito, ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung uh, papakita ko din sa inyo yung halimbawa ng ginawa kong sample action plan for reading program. Okay? So, ano ba? Uh, halimbawa ng isang action plan para sa isang reading remediation sa mga struggling readers natin. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga parts nito? Ano yung mga pwedeng activities, objectives na pwede natin ilagay dito sa ating action plan. Okay? So, yan yung ating pag-aaralan sa video na ito. Muli, kasama ninyo sa teacher, beat. Uh, bago natin simulan itong video na ito, kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa akin channel, please click me subscribe at yung notification bell para mag updated ka sa mga latest educational video. At kung gusto mo naman magkaroon ng copy nitong aking action plan na ginawa, pwede ka mag-join sa aking FB page, Teacher Bid sa Facebook, search mo lang. So, doon i-upload ko yung ating action plan. Na doon din yung mga iba-iba pang mga instructional materials, mga naka-word copy na pwede mo i-download at magamit. Narito po yung halimbawa ng ating tinatawag na action plan on reading remediation for struggling readers okay, or for reading program. So, ito po yung pwede nyo maging basis sa paggawa ng action plan regarding sa i-implement yung reading program sa inyong school. Okay, depende po yan na ipiprepare ninyo okay, na pwede po ninyong makatulong sa inyong uh, pag uh, gawa ng mga intervention regarding sa mga non-readers or mga slow readers o yung mga naging, nagkakaroon ng frustration in terms of reading. Okay, so meron po tayo dito mga parts sa aking ginawang action plan na tinatawag na phases of the action plan, okay, then goals and objectives, activities and strategies, persons involved, resources needed, time frame, and success indicator. That usually a part of making an action plan in a school. So, ito po talaga yung mga bahagi ng action plan. Two phases po, it's additional. It start always ang action plan into an objectives. Okay, pwede rin po katulad nito. Sa ating pong phase 1, dito po, una po ay tinatawag natin selection and orientation. First, we have the objectives on that. Uh, yung tinatawag na provide entrance examination on oral and comprehension tests. Okay, so dito they will select magkakaroon ng identification of students na pwede mag-undergo ng remedial reading class. Okay, so i-identify natin yan. They will, uh, and then the person involved, of course, yung principal, well, kusa natin sasubmit yung ano natin, reading program plan, then yung grade teacher, class advisor. Okay, kung malaking school kayo, yung mga grade teacher or leader of every grade, pwede po kasama sila dito. Then, yung resources na needed natin, dito kailangan natin yung field ERI, of course, or reading materials kung hindi available, and test questionnaire. Dito po, dapat ang resources na kailangan nyo or materials na gagamitin is evaluated okay, and validated by a uh, experts or educators in your school, like your heads or master teacher or your school district supervisor. Okay, so validated siya. Then, Success indicators, ayan, 90% of reading level of the pupil shall have been identified. Then for two, we will give orientation and background on the remedial reading to students and parents to support and stimulate students in loving, uh, to love reading. Okay, so ito nga pag na-identify natin sa success indicator ng objective 1, kung sino yung mga pupils na pwede mag-undergo ng reading program, magkakaroon naman ng orientation yung mga parents ayan, sa ating strategies. Ngayon, pag distance learning, pwede silang invite through an online conference or through a uh, letter, pwede nyo pong ibigay or through the day of module, uh, pagbibigay ng mga modules when they visit the school. Okay, pwede po doon. Okay, so pwede nyo doon ilagay yun. Tulad nyo, distance learning nga tayo. Pero itong ginawa kong action plan, pwede siya kahit may face-to-face -face classes. Okay, re revise nyo lang. Then, class advisor pa rin. Then, students and parents na ang involved. Then, yung resources needed natin, kailangan natin, of course, ng uh, internet kapag online conference. And then, yung contact details and profile of the uh, uh, students. And then, yung mga per parents nila. Okay? Yung mga uh, information and details. Okay? Mga contact information, pwede po yun. Okay? Then, you we have the success indicator that we will have 100% of the parents and student oriented at napamilyarize sila doon sa flow ng reading program. Pwede nyo rin po hindi uh, hihanda dito yung plan. Okay, yung day-to-day -day activities or yung setup schedules of the reading remediation to show to the parents and they help a uh, copy doon. Pwede silang bigyan. Okay, so yun po. 
Yan yung sa ating phase 1, selection and orientation. Okay. Uh, next is yung phase 2. Ito po yun. Okay, for our phase 2, okay, next po is yung phase 2 is about to conduct. First is to assess yung reading level ng mga student through a giving. Uh, you will give a pretest. Okay, doon sa mga na-identify na, pretest yun. Okay, ma-assess ulit sila. And, class advisor, teachers involved, and dito kailangan ng pretest questionnaire. Pwede yung sa fill eerie materials nyo, mas maganda yon May reference yung guide, validated. Okay, an oral reading, the story, and answering a comprehension questions. Okay, so meron activities they need to answer. Okay, and then reports and students profile on reading diagnostics. Diag uh, pag na-diagnose nyo na, of course, yung pinaka-reports. Okay, no? Preliminary uh, test na ginawa nyo for reading. Okay, so ito yon sa conduct na yon na part kung saan yun nga. Maganda dito, okay, pwede to kapag distance learning to all conference nga, okay, one on activities. Okay, mag-set kayo ng schedule, pwede yon Okay, na-available sila at course, yung time para mas mahat sila maka- a join, okay, and perform. Next is yung to increase and improve na yung proficiency of students by presenting engaging activities. How we will do this? This the activities, adoption of reading interventions such as yung mga lab reading program na ginagawa namin sa school. Meron 12 o'clock habit doon kasi are 3 o'clock habit kasi may babasahin silang text or paragraph or poem. And a page a day, pwede yun. Kapag books, of course, yung mga textbook, dapat na-distribute din natin. Yung marunko approach, okay? And then yung synchronous online reading, pwede rin itong facilitate one through an online kamustahan kapag uh, this time. Pwede nyo yun. Siset nyo kahit uh, one, uh, isang beses sa isang linggo, pwede po yun. Maglaan tayo. May class advisor, parents, and students. And then, yung mga materials, ito, pwede nyo pang dagdagin, dagdagan din to kung ano pa yung mga structural materials na makakatulong for reading on this kind of intervention. Pwede yung mga word flash in a widescreen. Ayan, example ko, printed story materials, SRA or kit and power builders, and reading materials in a PowerPoint presentation. For this one, 100% yung level of participation of students and cooperation and parents. Kung mapapansin nyo sa date or time, uh, schedule, uh, wala nakalagay. Dito po, pwede nyo iset yan. Depende sa inyong ang gagawin sa action plan ninyo. Okay? Kung ito yung implement nyo after third grading or after a second grading, okay, pwede po dito. So, kayo magsiset nung schedule or yung date sa time. Okay? Pwede po yun. Natin i-add sa time dito. And then, yung third part nitong conduct ay yung to intensify yung reading abilities. Okay, and encourage a sense of personal responsibility for students' one's own progress. Okay, pwede sila mag-practice ng mga reading every day. Okay, of the guidance of parents. Okay, with their sister or brothers. Student then class advisor and relatives or guardians. Then yung mga suited reading materials, structural video materials, yung DRP po itong books kasi meron kami pa rin ito, pwede siya maging supplement uh, materials or tools. Maganda po yun, may mga stories doon, short stories, and evaluated reading materials. Pwede rin po yun by the district. Then, 100% yung level of pupil's reading skill have been enhanced through varied activities. In next part 3 pa rin po tayo yung part naman to intensify the support and cooperation of parents and guardian on the reading program. So, ito pong part na ito very important na lang yung distance learning. Uh, kahit naman face-to-face, -face, yung pinaka-support of course nung kanilang uh, parents, okay, guardian. Kasi yun talaga ang magkakaroon din ng cooperation with that para maging successful yung gagawin yung intervention. Okay, providing and using the printed short stories, yung mga other literacy types of additional structural materials. Class advisors, students, and parents. Pwede po dito yung mga reading books, short stories, uh, additional structural materials, mga recorded video, at 100% yung participation of student and cooperation of parents. Okay? So, next po. Yan po yun. Dapat, yun yung maatay natin. Sa date, kayo po maglalagay again, ha? Depende po sa inyong gagawing time frame. Okay, dito. The, pwede pong ad additional activities pa o strategy kung paano nyo ma-encourage yung mga parents to support, lalo na lalo yung mga na-identify natin 
'di ba? Para din naman 'yun sa improvement ng kanilang uh, daughter or son. Next we have phase 3. Ito na po yung final evaluation. Sa phase 3, we will evaluate the improvement of student reading proficiency. Okay, if there are some changes, pwede po sa implementation or pagkakondak ng activity, depende po sa inyo kung gusto nyo inawa, uh, uh, gawin yung intervention, our pro this program is for the whole quarter or two quarters na magkasunod, pwede po yun na implement. Then, evaluation of students or the whole year, pwede rin. Maganda yun. Mas maganda in, kung yung program nyo or yung itong action plan nyo, ang sakop niya ay whole year, ba? Okay, makikita. Okay, person involved po dito yung class advisor and students. Mga reading test materials, evaluate by expert. And final post-test, oral or written, and reading test. Then, report po ng proficiency level. Okay, so ito final report. Kahit pag mag-e-end na pong fourth quarter, pwede na natin siya isagawa kung whole year yung ginawa ninyo for this action plan. Okay? So, yung po. Sa final evaluation. Okay? Next na po ay yung ating last part. Okay? So, meron tayo... Ayan. Ito po ang objective natin sa last ng ating final evaluation. Of course, to recommend, hindi din naman mag end lang dun yung program or yung ginawa nyo action plan kapag nasagawa na yung post-test, tapos na. Of course, maganda to recommend a different reading activities and to continue love reading. Okay? So, ito pa rin yung objectives. Okay? Para mas mapatuloy pa rin yung pagtuto ng bata sa pagbabasa, kailangan pa rin natin siyang ayan, magbigay ng mga activities. Suggesting and providing reading activities for distance learning. Student, ang involved, class advisor, and yung parents or guardian or relatives. Okay, yung mga reading books and short stories, printed poem, pwede yun, bigyan sila ng copy, video materials, and audio materials. Okay, so pwede yun, in a form of CD, okay, bigyan nyo sa kanila. Okay, pwede nilang gamitin pa rin yun, or pwede naman through a soft copy, send to them through email, or messenger, pwede po yun lang, yung mga video materials na maliit lang yung app. Uh, as bytes, ang uh, pinakalaman nun, o yung nasasakop na memory. Okay, sa time frame kahit hindi na po nalagyan kasi ito naman ay suggested activities na foreign recommendation. And then 95% na po dito of the parents and student continue practicing reading. Okay, so yan po yung ating pwedeng maging action plan na sample na ginawa ko. Yan, sana natutunan mo kung paano gumawa ng ating action plan na pinaresent ko sa'yo. At sana, yun, makagawa ka din ng other programs, lalo na kinalaman sa mga sa reading, okay, para makatulong sa ating mga learners. At kung may tanong ka sa video na to, comment mo lang sa baba sa comment section. At if nagustuhan ng video na to, please click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Min.